it really doesn't get better than this. It really doesn't. Thin, cheesy, saucy. It's not too hard. It's just so good. Judging me on the pepperoni, it's not a testament to how good my pizza is. I mean, it's still good. Try this, the plain. No, no, no. What, you don't want me to expose that you're addicted to The Sims? Uh -huh. Feminine walk, yeah. All right, I don't like any of that makeup. How you guys doing? I am going to cook some dinner real quick. Boom, instant ramyeon. But we're gonna make it a little nicer, but not really. You guys might be wondering where Viv is. She is out with her friends right now, getting dinner. I'm home alone because I have no friends, I'm a loser. I know this is a pizza video, but honestly, the weather outside today was just garbage, so I didn't feel like going out. Uh, we'll probably just get pizza tomorrow. I also got the, uh, the DJI Pocket 3 recording me over there, so hopefully I can provide you guys with some new angles in the kitchen. I don't know what else you want me to say. It's amazing. Mm. I know it's just instant ramen, but I want to say I cooked here. Did I follow a TikTok recipe? Yes, I did. But I still cooked. It is delicious. The sesame oil is so nice. Since I do plan on eating pizza, this high sodium meal is probably not a good idea, but Ugh. The only thing that could make that meal better is if Viv was here. I'm not gonna finish this broth though, cause I mean, come on. It's basically all mayo now. Uh. Ah, what a good meal. I'm really not gonna finish it though. Like that would just be really unhealthy. I know you guys don't believe me, so I'll just throw it out. All right, look, see, I'm gonna throw it out now. <laughs> I know I don't have that much facial hair, but it does make a difference because sometimes, <laughs> I mean, the, the little facial hair that I can grow, it's not very flattering. We got a busy day today, so let's get go. Let's get going. Before we do anything in this video, we actually have to go to the vet for their uh, yearly checkups. We got to pay out of pocket for the checkup. We suspect that Yaki might have a UTI. He's been uh, peeing kind of weird lately. Ghost peeing, where he just does his pee position and then nothing comes out. And then he like has been licking his, you know, thingling. <laughs> you got anything to say to those allegations? Viv and I are walking back home right now with the dogs. Yeah, I'm just gonna end everything because $700 for the checkup, it's crazy. Yaki was about 270 and uh, Tara needed a bunch of her annual vaccines. Her bill came out to be about 431. Actually, not even about, I just said about, I know it on the dot because it's like, you know, burned into my mind, but 
kids are very, very expensive. It is what it is. Thankfully, they're all healthy and uh, Yaki does not have UTI. The vet theorizes that because it's cold outside, he might just have a tough time peeing. They like touched his dick and everything and he's fine. Viv and I stopped by uh, Fishtails, which is a fish market that is on the same street as uh, Bond Vet. And Viv and I just like to go there to get our fish. As you can see right here, yes, we are getting pizza today, but for dinner, I plan on making some ceviche. You little boogers cost me so much money. We are back home now, obviously. Uh, we're just gonna feed the dogs real quick, uh, get settled in a little bit. I put the fish in the fridge and we're gonna head out for pizza pretty soon. And I've been craving pizza ever since I was in Korea. For today, we're gonna be heading into Williamsburg to get some pizza. By the way, I know despite the title of this video, this is not a pizza video. I'm just, I'm just eating pizza like once or twice. It's a vlog. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, we're eating pizza, so. Let's go. I don't know if I said that right. All right, which way? You lied to me. It is quite chilly today, but it's nicer weather than it was yesterday. So, how are you feeling, Viv? I'm freezing. Okay. I hope this pizza is worth it. We are going to a pizza spot called, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's either Le Industry or L Industry. There are two locations, one in Williamsburg, which is the one that we're going to right now, and one in West Village in Manhattan. But you know, we live in Brooklyn, so why wouldn't we just go to the Williamsburg one? It's a pizza spot that's been hyped up like crazy over the past few years. We're about to find out if the hype is real or not. If you do plan on visiting New York, and you are looking for some good New York pizza. A lot of people say Lucali's. It's not worth waiting for like six hours to get seated, you know? There's very few things in the world that I am waiting multiple hours to eat. And pizza is not one of them, especially in New York, bro. God damn, there's a lot of people here. Here it is, my friends. Lindustry, Lindustry, El Industry Pizza. I just ordered, but for those of you interested, here is the menu. There is outdoor seating here, and there is also quote unquote bar seating indoors, but it is really, really hot inside. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. What, uh, what pizza slices did you get? The tartufo, the tartufo and the burrata. Yeah, everyone says they get the burrata here. I should probably show you guys the inside of the pizza shop, right? Let's go eat now, I'm so excited. Okay, so let me break this down. This right here is the burrata slice. This is the tartufo. This is the bacon fig jam. I know, sounds interesting, but people say it's delicious. And this is the pepperoni vodka. That looks, that looks delicious. It's good, it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. Too crunchy. Is it the best pizza in New York? <laughs> okay, I didn't expect it to be. Let's do the pepperoni vodka first. Here is the pepperoni vodka with one basil leaf for some reason, but hopefully it's delicious. First bite, here we go. Hey, you should come in here and eat with me. It looks delicious. This is delicious. Best pizza in New York today though? Definitely not. The crust, the bottom of it, it's crisp, you know? It's, the dough in the middle is soft. It's very nice, and it's very saucy on top. Oh no! He dropped his ice cream. <coughs> you got a pepper steak. <coughs> Remember, don't inhale. You got it on your thumb. Mmm. Okay, okay. I see the appeal behind the burrata slice here. I don't know if I want to pay $5.50 for this. It's very good. How's your mushroom? It's not good. Bib is supposedly not a fan of the tartufo. It's good stuff, it's good stuff. Yes, it is. The tartufo, I can understand why you don't like it. It's very dry too. If you like harder pizzas, like crispier pizzas, 
This is definitely the spot for you. I wish it was saucier. It's very dry. Based on taste, like probably an 8.5, mm. but when you consider the price of it all, probably like a eight. We got five slices and two Diet Cokes for $35.81. All right, this one is actually delicious. This is the bacon fig jam pizza. Maybe it's my sweet tooth. It's still just dry. Like I just can't get after my mouth is cut. Since we got pizzas that all have toppings, we're also gonna get a regular cheese pizza to give it a very fair, huh? A margarita, okay. We're gonna get a margarita. The bacon and fig jam one, I liked it at first, but it's just too dry and it's getting old. And here is the real deal. This is their margarita slice with again, just a few pieces of basil. This looks like your typical New York slice, but we got this so that we could uh, objectively give it a fair rating. You know, since we got pizzas that all had toppings on it, we'll go simple with this one. Yeah, it looks softer than the other ones. How is it? Much better, mm -hmm. try it. The way you're nodding makes it seem a lot better. First bite, here we go. I've been forgetting to say that today. You know what I mean. Now that's good pizza. This is also their cheapest slice at 350. That's good pizza. Thin, but somewhat crispy crust. Soft dough, cheesy, saucy. That's what I've been looking for. This is good pizza. It could also be that we were so disappointed by the other ones that this is just so good in comparison. No, but this is genuinely good. They also have ice cream topped with olive oil and sea salt. I think Viv's been wanting this more than the pizza. Mm, it's fire. <laughs> Actually? Mmm, mm, mm. mm, so good and tasty. No. Dude, this is what I mean. You have a sweet tooth. It tastes like cold, salty olive oil. <laughs> it's growing on me. I just didn't expect the olive oil flavor. How is it? It's good? It's good. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I knew it had olive oil on it, I just, I still didn't expect to taste olive oil for whatever reason. Because it's ice cream, you know? But it's good. It's good. I, I think, keep, what? I keep tasting blood. I'm like, what? what? And I realized my mouth is inside is bleeding. Let me see. Okay, so. I don't yeah, you can see Viv's cut right there. I know it's not chapped lips, cause. Yeah, no, cause that's the inside of my mouth, yeah. Damn, you really got cut by pizza. I know. If that's not a testament to how dry some of the pizza is, I don't, I don't know what is, but the margarita is not like that at all. Would I come back here? Definitely not, unless it's for the Mark slice. That's pretty much the only thing I would come here for. Is it the best pizza we've had though? Yeah. There's a place that I like better. We might go there tomorrow. So you guys will uh, see the comparison. You want to hold it? Yeah. This is strange. You need to focus it on your face. Oh. <laughs> it looks like Wally, -E, doesn't it? Wally. -E? Yeah, you know the robot. Yeah, yeah it looks like Wally. -E. Yeah, yeah. This is very cool, though. I like it. Me too. Look, even when I hold it, it's still on you. Centered. Before I go home, I do have to buy some ingredients for dinner tonight. I am back here at Mr. Mango. Damn, my bad. I fell asleep and I woke up to this beautiful sunset. So that's nice, I guess, but let's get started with our day. We're going to be making ceviche, which for those of you that don't know, is raw fish. Oh, actually, uh, let me double check that real quick. A South American dish of marinated raw fish or seafood, typically garnished and served as an appetizer. But we're gonna be eating it as an entree. And I am going to cook that real quick while Viv watches Transit Love and smells Yaki's paw. <laughs> That's so weird. All right, let's get started. I am by no means a ceviche expert or anything like that. I've made it maybe twice in my life before, but it's really simple. 
Maybe I should just do a whole onion. Next up, some jalapeno. I do have gloves on because I have a bad habit of like rubbing my face after touching jalapenos. Also, fun fact and common misconception. A lot of people think that the spice from peppers comes from the seeds. It's not true. The capsaicin is all in the ribs and the pith. Like all this stuff. I almost forgot, but let me rinse this real quick. I probably should have done that before I opened them. Another thing about ceviche is that you want to keep the vegetables like fairly the same size, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so we got jalapenos and onions, and then now we got to do the tomato. Damn, how do I dice this? Yeah, as you guys may be able to tell, I am certainly not proficient with a knife, but I am trying to learn. Hooray! I will put the tomatoes in. The last ingredient, aside from the fish, is going to be some cilantro. Here is what our ceviche is looking like for now. And all we gotta do now is add in the fish and the seasoning. That is a pound of flounder. The guy there was also nice enough to take out the bones for us. So all we gotta do is chop it up. We're gonna pull out the nice Japanese knife for the fish so that it feels professional. Even though I have no idea how to cut fish to be honest. These are pretty good sized pieces, no? Yeah, I think that's perfect. All right, perfect. You guys might be wondering why Viv is not the one making this because she would be much faster at it and much more efficient. It's because I am trying to learn how to cook. I am trying to get better. And ever since we came back from Korea, I have been the one cooking every day. And now that that's all done, I am just going to pat this fish dry a little bit. And then in a separate bowl, I am going to put all the fish in and we are going to let this cook. We're not gonna cook it with like heat or anything. We're gonna cook it with lemons and limes. We're gonna roll these out. It's basically like foreplay to get the lime water. I actually don't know the reason why rolling it out makes it like juicier, but it is what it is. Also gonna roll out this lemon, which is a little bit more ripe, I think. I do have this uh, lime squeezer thing, so we're gonna let it rip. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so wet. Now what I want to do is salt it a little bit and that's going to help it cook even more. It's not fully submerged in the juice, so I think I'm going to put in a little bit more of yeah. lemon and lime. It's a good thing that I'm six feet tall and very strong so that I'm able to maximize the amount of juice I get out of this. Now I'm going to cover this up. And I'm gonna put it in the fridge and I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Ooh la la. God damn. I'm also draining the juice. I am instead going to squeeze in some new lime and lemon. Very cool. Let me taste it real quick. Mmm, my goodness. I know not everyone does this, but I personally like it. So I'm also going to add in an avocado. You excited? Yes. All right, and that is the ceviche. I hope I did a good job. Let us observe the wild animal as she approaches her food. Mm. You like that? I like that. 
<laughs> Recently, I've been cooking, right? And every time I make a meal that Viv enjoys, she gets incredibly horny. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, let me see if she's just hyping it up, though, or if it's actually good. Ah, ah, first bite. Here we go. Mmm, fresh as f mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. The guy at the fish market gave us a good fish. I asked the guy, I was like, yo, I want to make some VJ. What fish should I get? And he recommended either lemon sole or flounder. I said, okay, if you have to pick one. And he said, definitely flounder. And it's good. <laughs> Man was not kidding. Wow. No, it's really good. Yeah. Mm. You've been wanting some VJ since Korea. Mm. I got to eat my pizza today. <laughs> Viv gets to eat her ceviche. Mm -hmm. It's a win-win. I'm really glad that Viv likes it. Whenever Viv enjoys my cooking, the satisfaction I feel is just like a whole different level. Here's Viv showing the uh, the DJI Pocket 3 how to eat. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious, babe. I'm very, very pleased. Are you gonna cook for me for Valentine's Day? Absolutely. I know I'm not the greatest chef in the world, not even close. I'm very much an amateur, but I am trying to get better. And you guys will see me get better. That's just delicious. You're delicious. This is so good. And a little bit of. Mmm. Good, right? Mmm. The best hot sauce in the world. If you guys would like to sponsor me, please do. I buy your three pack on Amazon. Every month, man. There she goes, getting all horny again. <laughs>could have ended the video last night after the ceviche but I wanted to record one more thing so that you guys wouldn't complain in my comments about how the video was too short <laughs> we're gonna get pizza again today uh, this time we're gonna go to a spot that Viv and I have been thoroughly enjoying for the past like two years yeah it'll be a good time and you guys will get to see my favorite pizza in New York City all things considered price taste convenience all that also how does the footage look guys I'm still recording on the DJI Pocket 3. Super sick. I think some comments in the last video were asking me to uh, give it some time and test it out a little bit to give my, my thoughts after having used it. I love it. It's the best camera ever. I like it too. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really cool. The active tracking is absolutely sick. All right. And we are finally here, baby. Luigi's Pizza. Nice. Here is Luigi's beautiful Pepperoni slice. Uh, we got four for uh, 13, I think. And uh, if you get the regular cheese slice, it's uh, 275. But we love pepperoni. This pizza is like quintessential New York pizza. <laughs> like, yeah. of course, we might be biased considering we have specific tastes and preferences. But it really doesn't get better than this. It really doesn't. Thin, cheesy, saucy, and like it's not too it's not too hard. It, it's just so good. Chewy. The crust is so nice to eat too. Like it, it's a, it's got even though it's thin, it's a little bit doughy. It's nice. <laughs> Yo, you love that. Shit. I don't know. It's just like my favorite. Am I biased about this pizza? Absolutely. Mmm, mmm, my god. The pepperoni is delicious too. Mmm, just pizza.
Mm. Yo, should we get a pie to go home? You guys are judging me on the pepperoni. It's not a testament to how good my pizza is. I mean, it's still good. <laughs> Try this, the plain, the Mark fresh it all. That's not pesto, it's a basil. Mm. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. Boss was nice enough to give us some free mozzarella on the house because he saw us enjoying the pepperoni so much. I love it. How can you not love that, man? First bite, here we go. Wow. Wow. Mmm. I love it. Like, even if it has so much sauce, there's still that, like, crunchy crust that keeps the sauce afloat. And then right here is that, like, dough. That's, dough yeah, soft dough. It. I like that. Like, that's what yesterday was missing. It's beautiful. If you are visiting New York, you got to hit up Luigi's, man. You got to go down a little bit from Manhattan, but it's worth it. It's worth it, man. It was delicious. Thank you, boss. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good one. And that's that. I was craving pizza. I got to eat pizza. You guys got to watch me eat pizza. Vlogged my days. It's a win-win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next week. Not sure what we're going to be doing, but I'll do my best to make it fun. You got anything you want to say before we leave? <clears throat> I'm going to be in Mexico next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot.